cha cha. Hi, Granny. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back and we're going to be doing some more breeding videos. Um, our last video with me was uh, trying to get um, Chrysos, which I did get, and I did get him for 6,000 tokens. No, it was for 2500 once we figured it out. Oh, 2500 Yeah, they charged us 26000 before that. Yes. That breeding would have been for 100000 which is standard, but at yes. this point, it's a bag breed and it kind of sucks. And so just a reminder on that, um, if you want to get Chrysos for the cheaper breeding, you do... Well, we have the papers for it. I can yes. actually show them you again. Do it. Vulcan and Danzig, mm -hmm. um, and that gives you a single egg for him, and then that is also a good bold egg if you, to breed out if you need bold eggs for research. Look at the camera, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you need yes, to guys. research. Yes, but today we're going, well, Ghost is going to be uh, breeding out Kulan and Kaiju, and the second part of uh, this video, well, actually, it could be a separate video altogether, is we're going to be getting Kelvin, Quetz, and Krizan. I'd gotten Krizan today. Good-looking dragon. I didn't really see much use in him. Maybe you'll have better luck with him than I will. But uh, be that as it may, uh, he's sort of like Feractus, right? Mm -hmm. Looks good from afar, but sometimes a little far from good. Yeah, well, anyway. some gameplay on him. Yes. But right now, go ahead. So right now, we're going to be doing Kaiju. And Kaiju is going to be one of the dragons I'm breeding. He has Steel Essence, Explosive Shield, um, Trusha Bay re Resist, and Ballista Resist. He is a legendary platinum dragon. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are moving through this slower, mm -hmm. um, he's going to be a good dragon for you to have. Uh, he's going to be a beast. They actually do call him the Hulking Monster. So... Yes, the steroids. <laughs> but guys, I wanted to say something about his spells, but first let's start doing the breeding. Anyway, um, one more time to give our players an overview here. This is the path to Mihatan, and I guess maybe we should look at it like this. It's going to be a little easier to read. And uh, you're going to get Garganus and Champa, which I have in my other videos, towards Mihatan. Uh, for those of you who had missed Shade, Garganus is a very similar dragon to Shade. He's a blast type dragon. In other words, his projectiles have this exploding quality. And he does have Crumble to Dust, and he also has Steel Essence, which actually makes him a little bit more complex to use. But if you want, you can basically ignore that and just use the Crumble to Dust. Uh, so yeah, he's not definitely doesn't take a back seat to Shade, so for those of you who weren't able to level up Shade to yeah. Sapphire, and yours truly is one of them, and so is Ghost, you will have your chance to get Garganus later on. And Frost is an even better hunter than him, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's get into Sapphire and that of uh, Platinum before mm -hmm. we're going to start talking about Garnet Dragons. Be that as it may, again, on the list, you can always just stop it um, if you want to see. Uh, Kelvin and Chrysos will give you Kulan and Kaiju for about 64k, which mm -hmm. will take about 20 minutes, and then um, Katuthius and Kulan will give you Kelvin, Quetz, and Krizan. Okay, so basically, again, uh, Kelvin, uh, well, Kelvin you'd gotten before, that was with the Stepping in Dragons yes. Vulcan, but Quetz and Kaiju are both very good dragons, and we'll talk uh, about them in just a moment. So, anyway, start the breeding. Okay. So we have it set up, Kelvin and Chrysos, and this is the breeding. As you can see, I have oh, 148,000 eggs mm -hmm. tokens, so I actually have enough to do all of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. I put it down. It's probably going to be easier to see. Gosh. And basically, that's the egg we're going for on the right. Okay. It's filling up pretty nicely. Yes, it is. But because it's going to be over 60,000 eggs, it's interesting that, uh, well, you know, it's, go it's going to take over 20 minutes. But a word that I wanted to say about dragons like Chrysos, um, Quetz, uh, Kaiju, you know, the other dragon we had to get for this breeding, Katuthius. Um, they're all really good dragons. These are legendary dragons with the exception of um, Kulan, who's um, an epic dragon. And um, a lot of people look forward to getting them. I've been hearing in leaked chat that some people were disappointed in their performance. 
Um, I think the situation in the game is that it's accelerated, and as more and more players join, and um, some of them spend money, you know, for speed ups or eggs or upgrades, and just basically invest in packs. And I do it. So does Ghost. You don't have to. But invariably, when you wind up getting the uh, seasonal divines, they will always be ahead of the regular dragons. And in that regard, whether it's a rare dragon, an epic dragon, a legendary dragon, and I'm about to get Nihatan next, who I'm looking forward to, hopefully he won't disappoint me, but he's a mythic dragon, because all the dragons in Sapphire League and up are at least legendary. And then you have the mythics. They ultimately become breeders for higher dragons, and entering the next tier, whether it's from uh, platinum to sapphire, from sapphire into garnet, or from green into gold, and then into platinum. And uh, you start getting a different kind of a perspective on these dragons. So, like I said, whether it's a rare dragon, an epic, or a legendary, they become ultimately breeders. If, however, you go slower, mm -hmm. you don't buy a lot of speed-ups, um, you wind up needing more time to develop the uh, legendary dragons that you get in the process. And I think for those people, dragons like Kaiju and Quetz, you know, will probably have a greater difference. Because I know that our clan leader had actually taken Kaiju to Expert. Uh, one of the higher ranked players had taken Kelvin to Expert. And they're quite powerful at those levels. But so too, you need a tremendous amount of experience. You need a tremendous amount of food. And basically, it's a trade-off. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you're not going to be speeding through the dragons, you will appreciate a lot more than once you get in the process. Um, so too, you'll spend a lot more food and time leveling them up. If you basically look at them as breeders and go on to yet higher dragons, well, you'll spend a lot less time and experience and food leveling them up to 12 for legendary, up to 8 for mm -hmm. epic, and only up to 6 for rares. So... <clears throat> Maybe I'm starting to ramble a little too much. Regardless of what kind of a player you are, whether you mm -hmm. upgrade more quickly or more slowly, you also have to remember uh, base leveling versus dragon development. I've seen players who were over 200 and they had a combined firepower of about 7 or 8 million. To me, that's a player who basically upgraded very, very slowly. And um, it's not that they're... well. Sometimes when people go up with the base quickly, they wind up over leveling and they don't have the dragons to back it up and you will get attacked by stronger players and it will become more and more difficult to uh, defend yourself or conquer new territories. So the question is how to prevent yourself from over leveling. When you get a dragon, two, three, four or more that are capped because you haven't gotten into the next tier, it's not that your base is over leveled, it's just that you haven't bred further enough into the dragon line. If, however, you're a 200 level player and you have a combined firepower of 7 or 8 million, you seriously might want to, you know, invest some uh, rubies into upgrading your dragons, you know. Uh, it's probably, uh, well, of the lesser of two evils, it's better to have, you know, very strong dragons and a not so strong base rather than having a very strong base and very weak dragons. Of course, it's better to balance the two, which I think is the key to ultimate success. Because when you upgrade your base, it plays another role. You get a much higher experience multiplier. Yes. Because when I was trying to upgrade in the last uh, breeding event, I had to go from like a level 150 something to a 170 something. Now I'm well over 200. And I had gotten much higher base multipliers for the dragons. And I was able to level um, legendary platinums during the course of a few days and actually use them to get sapphires. I had to do that because I changed my direction because I was originally going to be one of those people that would go for a profit. And um, a profit is an easier shoe in into, uh, yes, into a sapphire. What you need is Kelvin and Vulcan, whom you already have from Platinum, and you'll get Sekum, who's a great hunter. He has the sand spell. Then Kelvin and Chrysos will give you Vulcan and Kaiju. And Kelvin and Kaiju will give you a Napa, and then second plus a Napa will give you a Poffet. I originally had miswritten it, uh, Nihatan. So here your target is a Poffet, and the intermediary dragons are second and a Napa. Now it used to be that a Napa could be bagbred once you get into Garnet for about 12,500 stones and uh, gems, and a Poffet could be gotten as a bonus very cheaply. Well, it's over 200,000 to get Aquilos and the other, the yes. double dragon, yeah. the dark and light, and you would get a profit as an incidental. Right now, from what I understand, Pocket Gems has made it so that you can um, bag breed other sapphires. But just a very important point, sapphires only breed with sapphires or up. Mm -hmm. So 
yeah, once he gets, regardless of whom you get, an Apo or Sekem or uh, Champa or Garganus, mm -hmm. you will notice that you can only breed them with... Okay. No. Yeah. It seems that the breeding has stopped for some reason. You still have plenty of eggs. Oh, you need to incubate. I wouldn't incubate. Don't incubate. Okay. You'd gotten another egg. You'd gotten... Uh, yes. I think you'd gotten Kulan. But don't go, yeah, go back to the breeding and go, you know, go for kaiju. Mm -hmm. Okay. How far along are we? Ten minutes. Yeah, we still need about, well, we're 230 something, 250 mm -hmm. fragments into 400. Mm -hmm. So what Pocket Gems did is they made it so that you can bag breed other sapphires. Now, which ones? Again, I don't know. So far, I only have Champa and Garganus, and yes, I got them up to level. So, this breeding in a separate video, we're going to do the last part of the breeding scheme mm -hmm. for getting Nihatan. That's something I was doing got, when we got snowed in in Boston. Yes. Right around St. Patrick's Day. So, that was what, like a little less than a month ago. Yep. And something else I've noticed is it seems that the cycle has accelerated. So right now the events are going in quicker cycles. So breedings seem to be occurring more quickly than once a month even. And I don't know when the next fortification frenzy is going to be. Um, it does give you a chance if you do well in the events to get up a lot of sigils. And uh, my first impression was I wasn't really going to go for the season's divines because I thought they're too similar to the last season's divine. Mm -hmm. so, but. Uh, no, uh, if you'll take a look and compare them, when you're talking about the season before the last one, Scar, Shade, Aban, they only had four stars. Uh, Tarand, um, Tengu, and Teng Snow Bar Snowdrop, Bar yeah, they had five, five stars. And then this season, Sage and, uh, what's her name? Sage, Fay, and Aster. Yes, Sage, Fay, and Aster, thank you. I don't know, I'm just carrying so many names in my head. They have six stars, so they will be able to be developed yet to a higher level. And their spells are slightly better. So Aster may be a somewhat better hunter than Snowdrop, and Sage may be a somewhat better warrior than Tarant. Again, the problem is I put all my kick-ass glyphs, and, uh, Kitty to yes, well, the kitty will come in the next video. You don't want to let the cat out of the bag so far. Yes, we have more surprises in store for you. Shh. He's ripping apart the couch. It's a shitty couch. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so... Okay, so let's talk about some of these dragons. So Kaiju is the one we're working on and Kulon. Yes. And those are both going to be platinum legendary dragons. Mm -hmm. um, and they have some really great spells. Oh, let me turn the camera on you. Okay. So, this time I am actually going to be getting, I am taking uh, Kelvin and Chrysos. This is a list of their spells, guys. Again, you can pause the screen and see this for yourself if yeah. you'd like. So, I'm taking uh, my Kelvin and Chrysos, which I have, and I'm going to get Kaiju and Kulon. And then I'm going to take um, Cthulhuus. 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 And get my Quetz mm -hmm. later on. Another, again, Quetz is a great dragon, as yes. it said on the um, site, he was the strongest dragon up to a point. Then Kaiju came along just like before Quetz, Chrysos was the strongest dragon. And again, these are all excellent dragons, guys. Don't be down on yourselves if you only get them one at a time. Again, you're in those category, that category of players who actually go slower with the breedings, and that's fine. So mm -hmm. you'll be taking them up to expert if you're in a rush to get to the higher sphere. Like I said, the other category of player that you become breeders. So with these dragons, um, you're going to get a variety of, of good variation on your dragons. So don't be um, down on yourself if you don't get the vines. If you get these dragons, it will allow you to have some really great gameplay. Um, I really do like Kelvin. His frozen tomb is a great feature. It gives it freezes things and then it gives a very it. long cold shield. Yeah, he's uh, actually a vastly su sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say he's a vastly superior dragon to Vulcan. Thank you. Which you did get at the same time. Um, Chrysos is, uh, I have not found him to be the best. He does not have a shield. His rejuvenate doesn't work that well, but that could also be because I just got him up to breeding. Um, what I've noticed with rejuvenate and the um, healing spells, they don't really start to kick in and are good until you get into like the upper levels on your dragons. Um, Kaiju is going to be 
interesting because he has steel essence and an explosive shield. Uh, that combination will give you protection in general and then give you the ability to take other, um, the essence of the things you're destroying so that gives you the freeze and fireball and that kind of thing, which is nice. And Kulon uh, has battle cry and intimidating roar. Uh, to me, that makes Kulon a pretty weak dragon because he does not have any kind of attack spell really. Um, and he doesn't have any defense, so he doesn't have a shield or anything to rejuvenate his health. So He's not a weak dragon, sorry to interrupt you. He's an okay dragon. Yeah. He's an okay. He's certainly stronger than the rare variety, although Cerbero out of that lot was really not a bad dragon because he also yeah. had the Frozen Tomb. He had a weaker version of Frozen Tomb, just like Basilius was the first mm -hmm. dragon to get the... You know, thunderstorm. yeah, thunderstorm, but it was a weak thunderstorm. All right, so it does look like I have bred out my dragons. Yes. And it's really good because it looks like I have some extra platinum eggs. Um, and you definitely need extra platinum eggs. They will help you in upgrading your builder hut as well as research. Research. And so we're going to go to incubate because I actually need to incubate both of these dragons and get them up to breeding. And I just hope I have enough speed ups. Yes. So, let's see who they gave me. So it's 27 days to hatch this dragon. Finally. That is expensive. It is very expensive. Um, and I'm speeding him up, as we always do. Mm -hmm. Always do. Because we have no patience. It's not just a matter of patience. It's just that if you wait 27 days, you will be hatching that mofo until the next breeding event. Yep. And meanwhile, you can hatch him earlier. I don't know, maybe wait half the time or... Mm -hmm. you know use complete speed ups and just hatch him instantly like we did mm -hmm. but again you know one of the players on our team asked why do we always use speed ups because it speeds things up considerably and again if you wait for these eggs mm -hmm. it would have taken us 27 days until the next event and then you have the other dragon so between those two dragons mm -hmm. it's already 54 days a month and a half actually excuse me almost two months you, you're going to miss the majority of the season yes. yeah so um the thing with him is he's a nice looking dragon Killer Sugar Glider, yes. Yes, he's a Killer Sugar Glider. From hell. Yes, we like him. Um, and then we are going to get rid of a dragon. I guess I will finally retire well. Hey, you can put him on a perch. He looks he, good with the rabbit ears. He does. I love him with the rabbit ears. Um, I probably won't put him on a perch. Uh, Why don't you get rid... I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know you hate that. Why don't you get rid of Shade? Because Whale is stronger than Shade. N no. Okay, he's not. The reason for that is because he will not offer a resist, which... The Get rid of the pig. A I, the pig isn't... I'm looking for kaiju. Oh, okay. You're looking to put in kaiju. Yes, yeah. I am. I thought kaiju... Uh, I thought the pig... This is Lumen. We call him the pink pig. I mean, that's really just... I mean, they call him a warrior, but that's a bad dragon. Yes. But no... So there he is. He's in my roster. Let me kick someone else out. Because uh, I'll have to put someone in. I guess it's going to be him. And I'll probably get rid of Vulcan next. Um, the reason for that, Vulcan is not is an okay dragon. Um, if I had enough time to level him completely up, um, I think he could be really good. Uh, He's no Calvin. He has he no shield. That's no what I was shell. saying. No shield. Uh, he does have flux and fireball, um, but again, no shield. So again, this dragon would be 25 days to hatch. We're gonna speed That's cool on, right? That's cool on. And I'm going to speed him up as well because to get um, the next guy, I need Caluthius and Kulon to mm -hmm. get Quetz. And then Quetz and Kelvin and Kelvin and Kaiju. So that actually the dragon I'm going to be focusing on upgrading is Kulon for this one. You're also going to be focusing on Kaiju. And I do not have enough um, speed, speed ups. ups. You gotta get a pack. Get a dragon pack. I am just going to go in here. No, you listen to me. You're better off getting the four thousand pack because you'll also get food and you'll get fragments. So yeah, it's going to be a better deal. You think I'll yeah, guys. Sorry to sorry to uh, interject, but if you are during a breeding competition, you really are better off getting the four K for ten gold chests rather than spending five K for. Um, what was this, 5,600 something for getting the massive speed up pack because yeah. you will get more speed ups this way plus other goods Maybe. that you can use. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. It's 
So I got 6,000 eggs. That's great. Yes. That's no joke. 250 rubies, another 1,000. Uh, 250 not, sigils, 375 sigils. Yes, at, and only 15 three hour speed ups. Yes. Well, the speed ups they weren't very generous with. Get another pack. You're getting other stuff you can use. Yes, but if. I know I won't have enough. If I buy this, I don't have enough rubies to buy a speed up pack. Okay, buy a speed up pack then. You got good stuff. Go for the speed up pack. So you for the and you don't want to buy the cheap. There's there is a um, cheaper seventeen forty seventeen fifty. Um, but if you look at it for the fifty nine hundred, you're getting mm, a lot more for yeah. your money. Yeah. So you definitely want players to probably know that, but in case they don't, yeah. Because well, people will look at the lower price and just click on the lower price. Sometimes you kind of have to do the per hour calculations to determine that you're getting enough for what you're doing. This is odd. Right now, they really seem to be skimping on the hours and giving out more sigils. So if you catch this video shortly after we post it today, then maybe now is the time, since they introduced the new Hunter Dragon, for you to be going for the sigils, because yes. they are giving out more of them. Not quite double sigil weekend, mm -hmm. but still pretty good. Okay, and here is Kulon. He looks identical to Quetz, just a slightly different coloration pattern. Yeah. Pretty dragon. Very pretty dragon. Very pretty dragon. I'm liking him. Spring. Lots of spring dra dra looking dragons going on in my roster now uh, from winter to spring. And I think we are done for today. The next video I'm going to do is going to be Luth, Katuthius, and Kulon to get my Kelvin and Glatz. I'm not quite in the and Sapphire. And And Krizan. And I'm not quite in the Sapphire Sphere yet, but, um, you know, I am capped on my Divines right now. All of my Divines are capped and need a... Um, to go into the next to go sphere. To the next level. Level, but I yeah. I do have those stones, so that's possible. And thanks, guys. And if you do like our video, um, subscribe to our channel. We'll have uh, more War Dragon videos along the lines. As You're going to have to stop interrupting me. As well <laughs> as uh, videos about history and a variety of other things. Um, follow us. Yes, follow us, and we have other stuff that maybe, hopefully, is at the very least interesting, but could be useful to watch as well. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.